does. Set, and away they go. Ferdinand the Bull just seemed to stumble towards the inside. Spanish captain came out bounding with speed with the blinkers on this evening. Straight away goes to the front, Spanish captain. Roy's ambassador's not too far off them. In Vienos racing around runners. Ferdinand the Bull tucked in towards the inside. He's three and a half lengths off the tempo. Clipperton Island, one out and back. Mr. Royal's got six to make up with Buster Brown. My name is Bond, is the trailer. In Vienna now, challenges Spanish captain and goes on by a length. Spanish captain, just a niggle or two to stay into the hunt in second. Roy's ambassador third, Clipperton Island, Ferdinand the Bull. Buster Brown sits patiently five lengths off them. Mr. Royal to the stand side. Spanish captain, the favourite, just getting some urgings towards the inside. Still quite green, but he now makes up the ground to strike the front. 3.50 to go. Spanish captain hit the front. Here comes Roy's ambassador, and Buster Brown's running a big race. Spanish captain's got a dig down. Ferdinand the Bull. Buster Brown's coming home. Spanish captain and Buster Brown the last hundred. Spanish captain is digging down deep and it's Spanish captain doing as he is bred to win by a length. Buster Brown second, Ferdinand the Bull, my name is Bond, Spanish captain still very very green but giving favourite backers plenty to cheer about. Still very, very green. He's got the blinkers on. He goes the 1400. He's going to be a horse next time in the 16, 1800. He's going to improve lengths. He's really well bred, the son of Captain L from the Tony Rivlin stable, bred by the Ascot stud. And Mary Liley, she's got a smart horse on their hands here, Tony Rivlin. Anthony Del Pesce just kept him awake around the turn, didn't want him to drop the bit, and he comes back to win. Buster Brown looked to move up and make a race of it, but Spanish captain, the three-year-old, his class comes through. Buster Brown second. Ferdinand the Bull seemed to take an awkward stride out the machine. Then came my name is Bond. Roy's ambassador, Clipperton Island, and Mr. Royal. Spanish captain, he hit the front at the 400, still runs very, very green. You'll see Anthony Del Pesce. Stout ride there, whipping the left hand and just keeping him up to the task at hand. Buster Brown, he moved up effortlessly at the 300, got to probably a neck of Spanish captain, but that's when Spanish captain's class kicks in. The further they go, the further he's going to win. So next time out, Spanish captain, probably the mile, 1800, but he's developing into a smart sort. Back to the studio. That was race number six and very, very, very impressive. Number one, Spanish captain, the three-year-old son of Captain L, trained by Tony Rivelin, ridden to victory by Anthony Del Pesce. Another top ride from the top draw by jockey Anthony Del Pesce. And that was for Mrs. Lali, famous colours that you see in KZN, having a, a good run uh, currently. I'm going to call in Tony Rivelin. Tony, must be an absolute pleasure to, to train a horse like this. The reason I say it is it's oozing class and... I was a, a little bit, uh, I thought it was under a little bit of pressure at the top of the straight, but a top ride by Anthony. Yeah, Wes, he is a beautiful looking horse, and of course, as you're always under pressure with a horse with a big reputation, um, he's as good looking as Kevin Shea, according <laughs> to Kevin. <laughs> so, um, he's really a good looking specimen, and he stands out in the ring. Um, last run, we were on the plane to Cape Town, and um, I was a little disappointed listening to the race. It sounded like he took no interest, but Anthony said, don't worry. The going was very wet. He was on the outside, and I still haven't watched the replay, managed to watch the replay. So we put it behind us, decided to put a pair of blinkers on him. I just think he's immature in the head. He mm. doesn't really know what's expected of him because um, I was a little worried, as you rightly say, 300 out. That also loomed up to him quite quickly, and Anthony was riding him, but what was encouraging, he did it, quite, he did it the hard way. He, you know, that other horse on the outside cut throats with him for quite a while, 
and um, at least the last uh, 150 meters he went on strongly and that's always a good sign. First time under the lights too, we must remember that. Yeah, when the second horse moved up to him, the nice thing is he, he, he quickened away from it. Yeah, that's always a good sign. Also he had 61 and Craig's horse is a hard knocker. He's an older horse, he's a hard knocker. And um, yeah, I'm pleased. He's a lovely looking horse and I'm sure he'll keep improving. Yeah, lovely stuff. I'm sure it'll go on from yeah, And yeah, like you say, when the penny drops uh, for him, he'll definitely uh, show what he's worth. Yeah, hopefully Wes. Thanks so much, Tony. You've got uh, one in the last? Good place, Charles, Wes. Thanks so much, Tony. Pleasure, thanks. Uh, let's get uh, Anthony Delpesh in quick. Ant, another good ride by you. Take us through the race. Yeah, you know, um, he's still a very big baby, and I needed to get him up on the pace, and I was quite happy to lead, but then the doctor came on my outside and actually had me quite tight, and just if he was an experienced horse, it wouldn't be a problem, but this was just a bit of an experience, and he was looking to shook it. And, yeah, I come up the straight, he pricked his ears, and he had a look at all the lights, and... Yeah, he won a good race. And he's, he's a horse the penny hasn't really dropped yet. And I think when the penny drops, he's going to win races. And I think this, this trip is a little bit too short for him still. I think he wants a little bit further. And he'd be a better horse on the grass. Yeah, like we saw in its uh, last race, it you know, really took a while to get into the race. Uh, it took, uh, took a while to quicken. Similar, similar sort of run tonight. But when it got into it, it quickened away from them and a lot more to come. Yeah, I think his last run was, I think the track on the outside at Marisburg makes a big difference, you know. And, and as he came out, they T-boned him, they actually knocked the wind out of him and he just lost the, the bit on me and he never travelled at all. He actually did quite well to finish where he did. So I think he's an immature horse and he's, we, that's why we put the blinkers on him. I, he, I don't think we're going to race him with the blinkers all the time just to, to teach him to do the right things. Well, I think they were lucky to have you aboard and top right. Thanks very much and thanks very much to Mrs. Lyle and Tony. I really appreciate the support and he's a lovely horse. Thank you so much. Mrs. Lally, if you wouldn't mind coming through, you must be over the moon because this is really touted to be a, a really good three-year-old and I think will improve with the, its racing. And you must be over the moon with the run you're having in KZN. Oh, thank you. Yes, I am very pleased. And many thanks to Anthony. I don't think many jockeys would have run on him tonight if it not, you know, he really excelled himself. And thanks to Terry, who rides him in work and Tony for choosing him and training him. And uh, no, it's very, very nice. Thank you. And Mrs. Ali, you must be over the moon because uh, lately in KZN, you've had, uh, had some nice sorts uh, to grace the turf. So you must be really excited for the KZN season. <laughs> well, I never, <laughs> I never ran away before <laughs> or get ahead of myself, should I say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Take them each as they come. Well, you enjoy this one. You can uh, definitely enjoy this one. And uh, we'll wait for Spanish captain to uh, hit the tracks again. Thank you. Yes. Thanks so much, Mary. Okay. Thanks a lot. Bye. There we've heard it from the whole team here. The Tony Rivelin Yard, Mrs. Lali, uh, who owns uh, Spanish captain, the three-year-old son of Captain L, who was bred by Ascot Stud. Really impressive. This is uh, one uh, to put in your notebook, Spanish captain. I think uh, you'll be seeing a lot more uh, or the three-year-old son of Captain L. That was race number six. We'll see you back for race seven.